On October 24th, the Dawan Ancestral Residence Cultural Block was opened to the public. As one of the largest and most completely preserved Hakka-style square compounds in China, the Dawan Ancestral Residence possesses high historical and artistic value. It is like a living fossil for people to learn about the origins of Xinjiang's Hakka residents as well as their folk customs, architecture, and water engineering practices. Prior to the opening of the cultural block, the ancient buildings in the residence were renovated. In addition to existing exhibitions on Hakka culture, new exhibitions about modern art and calligraphy are also set up in the residence, along with a cultural fair, workshops, and concerts to attract more visitors to experience Hakka culture in Pingshan. So this is actually quite beautiful. You know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful part of history. My grandmother raised me, she's Hakka. Uh, coming back to Pingshan, well first, we have this fun market. There was no market last time, so it was a great experience. Uh, the opening ceremony at the Wan Residence, of course, was magnificent. Getting to see the cultural shows and the dances and the singing performances was really special. Um, I feel grateful that I got to be a part of that. Apart from traditional Hakka culture, more citizens are also attracted to Pingshan by its cultural center that consists of a library, an art museum, a cultural hall, and a theater. With his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song. I myself singing for 25 years, but I don't know facts about music. So just looking at it, learning where is it from, it adds up to my knowledge. After this trip, I got it all on my mind. It will be helpful for me, more appreciate probably my craft. Very inspiring. You'll be uh, intrigued. It will make you um, travel more and see more of it. This is upcoming, I can see. Very promising place or district in Shenzhen. One that I really loved was the female-centered uh, part of the Nine-Tier Pagoda. I'm still developing some of the things that were created inspired by Peng Shao, but yes, um, I have an independent zero-waste fashion label, and a future collection will be definitely inspired by Peng Shao. I like that they blend the two cultures. It's a blend of modern, and it's also a blend of traditional. And the space between them, the negative and the positive space, looked really beautiful. So that was interesting for me, and that's given me some ideas. Fascinating today, and really fascinating to put into one day an exhibition where Brunelleschi from Florence is mentioned, and then take a self-driving car to the next destination is, is very, very, very interesting. And then to come to a 250 years old Hakka village. We have always liked living in Pingshan from the very beginning. It's a nice place to live. And now seeing the progress within a short period of time and that we soon, in a few months, will actually take the subway and uh, go downtown is, yeah, it, it's something we really look forward to. What I experienced today made me feel comfortable because the people are very friendly. I believe that Pinshan is using technology, proving the life of the people that they are living here. So Pinshan will be like a, an example of a future city. I'm going to start my new journey here in, in 
Pinchang. I'm looking forward to, to see what Pinchang has to offer for me, but I'm looking for a very bright future and contribute to, to Pinchang. Live Pinchang, live global!